Deadly Class, my favorite comic book out there right now. MB. MB. I know a lot of my friends are trade waiting this series, so I'm not gonna spoil too much. Now this really pisses me off to no end. All I gotta say is, fuck you, David Lopan. Fuck you. Got a few tacos this week. Only gonna talk about my picks of the week. Service Tension Number One by Jay Gunn, new number one this week. Uh, thank you to Dr. Monkey Bob and T Bird, T Likes Comics. Uh, I said that I was gonna pick this up and they were waiting for a review, so this is basically dedicated to you guys. Um, very interesting. It, 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 has, it has me curious. Uh, I know I mentioned Water Zombies earlier on. Uh, please erase that from your head. It has nothing to do with that. Kind of, yes, no. Um, very uh, alien science fiction going on here right now. Um, fantastic issue number one, but not but not when I first opened it up. I kind of it kind of um, got me a little bit feeling uneasy because of the art reminded me of Steve Dillon. I'm not really a huge fan of that, especially his facial expressions. But the uh, story is strong enough to make me overlook the that type of art, and it does get better. Uh, the flashback scenes about these people, basically the people of Earth, have become extinct. With the exception of a few survivors, they think they're immune to this illness called seasickness. So basically people become these waterlogged uh, corpses, zombies, and they're all drawn towards the sea uh, where this alien coral uh, just magically appeared. It starts off with these two people coming out of the ocean, a male and a female, and um, this their, their bodies are covered in blue. They're not really uh, deformed, so they're there's something special about these two people. We get the backstory of the female. She is the main protagonist in here. Um, pick it up. It's actually very interesting in it. I am looking for it's it's a mini, and I am looking forward to the other issues. Um, you know me with uh, science fiction. It's I'm I'm it's hit or miss with me. But with this one, maybe because it has to do with the ocean and the scenery is is different from space. Uh, I, I, I'm actually cool with that. Uh, it has me interested. Suiciders, number four, Lieber Mito. Oh my god, this guy's the best. Uh, every issue gets better and better. Uh, we get to see more of, uh, not get to see more, but I think it's more, if it wasn't clear before, it's clear now that the savior guy is uh, is actually the guy with the long hair and beard. It's just 100% confirmed just from the, uh, the panels, how they were showing um, you know, flashback and present, flashback and present. How they were mocking him when he when, during his first fight. How he barely went in with no armor and just padded gloves to take on the uh, his his challenger. And just he has this. Uh, he's an interesting character. I love him. Uh, he uh, his he was very green in his first fight. Um, kind of left the guy alive, and I guess that's not the rules with this sort of fight club, as you guys know. Uh, it's a one man standing, and it, it's just amazing watching him. And also the the, the mystery, the, the thing that's going on behind about uh, revealing who he truly is, is very fascinating. It has me a great mystery detective story and fantastic Barbara Lieber me. Oh God, this guy cannot do wrong. I love him. Now here are the books I picked up. I haven't read yet. Uh, I will eventually. There's Old Man Logan, number one. My comic book shop guy and Dark Knight 40 uh, asked me about this. As, uh, he actually asked me for a review. I will see you at the shop later on and I will give you my opinion on Old Man Logan. Inferno number one. Just a nod to uh, the old, uh, the original Inferno storyline that happened on Kenny X-Men. Hopefully this is pretty cool. Sabrina, number three. Uh, really digging the Archie universe right now, especially this dark version of Archie. I always double dip on my Archie covers, especially in Sabrina's no exception. Demon T45, you get to see Donatello's metal, Metalhead, I'm assuming. Uh, ends at 50, pretty cool so far. And we have Outcast number nine. Now, I really love the first arc, 
really into my type of horror that I probably never get sick of is the type of horror that has to do with religious, uh, religious horror, religious demonic possession, stuff with the Vatican, uh, things like that. I've always been uh, interesting to me. And uh, this is basically the same thing. Um, it's just that religious horror that I really dig. Zombie Tramp and Vamplate number one. I do love Zombie Tramp. Uh, this is Vamplate right here. This is number one of, I don't know if it's a new ongoing or just a mini or a one shot. But anyways, uh, she appeared two issues back from Zombie Tramp. Zombie Tramp is so fun. It's one of those titles that I know people look at the cover, look at the title, and they, you know, blow it off. But uh, she is really a cool person to read, and the art is just fun. And it's just one of those books that I am not ashamed to have in my poll because it's comic books and I love kooky, ridiculous stuff. Alright, that's it for me guys. Uh, that's it for the comic books. I know I'm getting bored with these comic book videos. I'm very, very into my toy videos right now. Just so much fun, so inspiring. I need that shot in the arm. Uh, and besides, they gave me more views. <laughs> just kidding. Peace guys. Talk to you later.